Good morning. I have a question to ask you. Do you like living on a polluted earth? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right now, earth is being polluted. We see this every day, and it's getting worse. There are several solutions to this problem. My solution is probably the most far-fetched. My idea is to terraform Mars. Okay. Okay. Terraforming is when you alter the environment of a planet to order to make it capable capable of supporting terrestrial life forms. The following technology we need to be developed in order for our idea to work is a terraformer, drones, a greenhouse spaceship, and an artificial gravity spaceship. As you know, Mars is a barren landscape. In order to live on Mars, we need to make the landscape unbarren. The three things we need to survive on Mars are water, oxygen, and nutrients. First, we need to make the air beautiful. The way we do that is with a terraformer. A terraformer can be used to manipulate Mars' atmosphere for it to be able to sustain life. In order to do that, we need to drop the carbon count in the air and raise the nitrogen and oxygen count in the air. The oxygen and nitrogen will be up by using a terraformer. Then we need to find a way to put the carbon count down in the air. The way we could do this is by creating carbon capturing robots. We will make drones that capture carbon, and we will put a limit on how much carbon they will capture. After that, we will make Mars into a non barren landscape. Next, we need to make how we get food to Mars. To make this a reality, we need to put plants on Mars. There is something called a greenhouse spaceship. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds, a greenhouse in space. We will use bees as natural planters because they use something called pollination, which will plant seeds super fast. That's why we need them on our greenhouse spaceship. The greenhouse spaceship will contain enough oxygen for the trip to Mars. The plants will need sunlight. That sunlight will come from the sun itself. The new chance the plants will receive is from the water and from the dead bees. After the long journey from Earth to Mars, we will unload the spaceship with droids. These droids will be able will be online when the spaceship reaches the surface. And they will run on also solar power. These the sun will appear after the carbon drop is finished. After that, we need to find a way to get to Mars. Currently, it takes seven months to two years to reach Mars. That's longer than people have been in space ever. The reason for that is because when humans are in space, they don't use their muscles because of non-gravity. The human body is smart and will see this as a problem and get rid of your muscles for you. And this would be bad for us because we need our muscles to be able to walk and run and stuff like that. So in order to f solve this problem, we had to create artificial gravity on a spaceship. The gravity would be created by the spaceship going in a circular motion, creating its own gravity. I know this, I know this idea is far-fetched, but it's better than an alternative. We could, if we continue to let Earth to be polluted, then we have no home to live on. What I'm saying is to go green. By going green, the earth will be less polluted and easy to live on. You can change the polluted earth by recycling, carpooling, and using less electricity. By doing this, we'll be able to live on a much cleaner earth. Thank you.